right, everybody on this property are pressing against you two criminal trespassers. Accused child killer Wayne Williams. In the days before his arrest, in connection with the slayings of two young blacks, he was followed everywhere by reporters. A Fulton County Superior Court judge decided the case was getting too much pretrial publicity and issued a gag order. A gag order that is still being fought by the Atlanta Press Club. And now, another murder case in Atlanta. And another gag order. This one issued by a DeKalb County Superior Court judge in a case involving James Walraven, accused in the so-called bathtub slangs of young women. The order prohibited almost all media coverage from the very beginning until the press challenged it and the judge modified it. The whole situation has the State Bar Association concerned. Would you like to uh, go to trial to have uh, evidence which is not uh, competent uh, and is excluded at the trial to have been given to those jurors day in and day out on television and in the newspapers? Do you think you're getting a fair shake? You'd have to say no. Cashin says it's time for attorneys and reporters to sit down together and talk about these concerns, hopefully at a symposium to be scheduled in the coming months. The state bar admits that it cannot possibly hope with one symposium to resolve that now classic conflict between the public's right to know and a defendant's right to a fair trial. But there is a hope that they can come up with some guidelines for covering criminal trials that will be satisfactory to everybody. Paula Childs, Action News.